everyone, Jorno Agents, and welcome back to my little hideout. This is where uh, I put some glass instead of cobble so I can see if there's anything out there, just in case I get any nasty surprises like I did once upon a time. Got some um, of those uh, essence berries here. Um, today I want to do a few things. There's, there's a few things I want to get out of the way. Um, I want to make uh, some Tinker's, con uh, Tinker's new light lumber axe. Slightly different to that one. Not 100% sure uh, what to use, but um, I'm probably going to go with just a wood handle and a stone stone thing because I haven't got any lava yet, and uh, I need to get grab a bucket or two when I go mining. But I haven't done that as yet, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're going to grab some cobble and we're going to grab a stick or two or 22. Right, so yeah, I have no lava as yet, I haven't really got round to it. Um, I've made a tall forge. Um, this is what you need to make. Um, so if we type in forge, okay, and we can see that it needs the seared bricks, a tool station, and four blocks of iron. So it's quite expensive. Now what this is, is kind of like an upgrade to the tool station. The tool forge allows you to um, just kind of just make those extra like tools and stuff and one of them being is the lumber axe so let's grab the parts now so we need everything but the uh, pickaxe head and we go to the tool forge but we need to go to the part builder first actually and we need to craft ourselves uh, let's have um, Going on here. Oh, material cost eight. Oh God. So we need to get a bit more. Okay, so it's quite expensive in regards to. Well, it's not because it's cobble. It's not that expensive. Okay, so we got this, the head. Um, how much does that cost? Another eight. Wow. I'll just get loads. that and we're going to need that's going to cost three so we're going to need some more and let's take some more just for good measure never have too much cobble I suppose right and then we're going to make the what the hell maybe it goes down there then yeah and then what we're going to do is we're going to make the rod or the handle, I think, made out of wood. There we go. And we're going to put all these back in here. There we go. And we're going to go to the old tool forge. Select the uh, the lumber axe because the lumber axe is uh, special abilities or. Um, area of effect it's got like a 3x3x3 three by three by three area of effect and it can fell trees which means it's kind of like a tree capitator so let's try and construct this and see what happens there we go that looks cool and it's stone bound which is uh, I think the stone bound means that the weaker it gets them it it becomes more efficient if that makes sense so um, yeah, so what I've done is, uh, yeah, the, the only difference is between this and the other one is the other one had a stone handle. So if I sleep through the night, and let's go and test this, this new toy out. Hopefully, the rain's going to stop. I think, I think in Minecraft, if you sleep through the night and it's raining overnight, it will stop. So yeah, let's go and test this nice little axe out. It looks really different when you've got hardly any trees here. As you can see on the map, I've cleared out half of the valley of trees. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with the valley. I want to, I, I think I want to kind of flatten it a little bit and kind of make it kind of almost square it off. So it's like, you know, really flat and easy to farm and stuff. So 
Musta the beehive. Pam's harvest craft though, it's not like it's not um forestry. Okay, so let's check this out. This is the new toy. Here we go. Takes a little bit of time. And there you go. It's taken it out in a nice little swoop. Doesn't take too long. Now you notice it's 97 and it goes down one, but eventually as it gets more tired, it will drain durability very quickly. So it won't it won't be like like that was more than two logs, right? Um, but that kind of increases as time goes on. I don't know if I want to tr chop that tree down. Oh, it's magic a tree. I'm not sure what you need it for, so I'm going to leave it. But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the camera. I'm gonna clear up the rest of this um, this valley of trees so um, I can kind of have a look at the terrain without you know it being hidden in trees and foliage because when there's no trees I can kind of see a hell of a lot better of what the landscape's like and I can get an idea of what I want to do with it uh, in the future so yeah be right back okay so I've been uh, chopping like a boss <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a Snoop Dogg song <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, and I found some more of this uh, moonstone ore that's crashed in the valley. It doesn't actually do any damage to the terrain, and it always lands on grass. I don't think there's any on the cliffs, well, not at least I can see anyway. So yeah, my axe is almost depleted, so there's a high chance that I shall show you, if you don't already know, how to repair. Um, it's quite simple, really. Um, yeah. So I'll be repairing this very soon, so be right back. Okay, so now my axe is totally depleted and broken. Now once uh, you, you've created the Tinker's Construct uh, tool, it when it breaks, it doesn't disappear. But you'll notice, watch. Look how long it's going to take to uh, chop down this tree in, in comparison to what it was like. So let's go and repair this. I must admit though the valley is looking good, nice and bare, but um, yeah I might bring, because like I say I'm going to probably uh, go straight down from the cliff, so where the cliff side is, probably just going to go straight down um, and just really kind of cap off, cap off so we can have like one whole level. Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do it, I'm not going to use anything like a quarry, I'm thinking of a filler uh, from Buildcraft, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I might even just keep the terrain. I don't know. Um, it's all up in the air. But let's uh, go and go and fix our axe because uh, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, how much cobble we got? Okay, so I think what we do is we click on the old repair here, and then you put your tool there. You go, it's broken, and I think. got a nice fresh axe. Grab some essence. Look how many saplings I've got out of that though. Now how much logs I've got. Um, fortunately in my little cubby hole here I've got a nice little like little barrels here ready to go. As you can see actually I don't know if I explained it you probably saw it briefly but here we have actually a steam dynamo. If you don't know how it works there's a aqueous accumulator, so that all that does is store water from an infinite water source, um, and then that feeds it into the dynamo, which it requires water to keep cool. And then you've got um, you put, you give it fuel, and which produces steam. That steam produces power, which goes into these leadstone energy conduits, which are basically power pipes, and then they go into the back of the pulverizer and the redstone furnace. Um, if you want to know the recipes, if I haven't shown you, then just uh, look in any eye for the pulverizer, redstone furnace, uh, energy conduits, and that stuff. Um, yeah, and then there's a normal vanilla hopper with, say, um, a chest above it. So if have I got any anything I can use? 
Okay, so let's say for example I wanted to make uh, glass because we know that this is going to get pulverized. When, when cobble gets pulverized it goes to sand and then sand gets cooked into glass. So it goes straight into the hopper, straight into the pulverizer which gets turned into sand and then the sand should, we should get some glass turning up in the, in the chest here. So all good. And I'm going to put that moonstone away because that's pretty cool. Put some of this jungle wood and the bee away, which I don't know what it does. Okay, cool. So I've just slept through the night. Also in here we've got my uh, little food chest near where the cookers are. My bed is in the floor. Um, it's a ri I'm squishing everything I can in here. Now, I'll show you how... Uh, this is These come from the drying racks. So I think I'll show you that. And you just right click with zombie flesh. Um, and that will eventually dry into monster jerky which is actually decent enough to eat um, it's not pa part of Pam's harvest mod but I'm going to take all the food out of here actually because it shouldn't be in there any more food? I don't think so okay, okay cool so um, what I want to try and do as well is I want to try and start getting into magic crops very soon now Magic crops is um, it can be overpowered once you get it going, but to get it going is extremely expensive. For example, if I wanted to make uh, uh, grow diamonds in my farm, um, you're going to need to get these. These are the hardest part to get. Diamonds, four diamonds I can get for two seeds. That is a bargain. So we're going to need to get seeds is not a problem, but to get one of these, you need to get. Oh, it's just endless. It, that is a um, that's that's crazy amount. So, let's try something a little bit cheaper. Let's try and go for say, where's where are they? Iron, where's iron? Coal, diamond. It must be iron here. Iron. So we need to get these. So we need one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try and make some iron. Okay, and then we're going to need to make um, bigger ones. So these are the weak essences, and then if we make do that, we get a regular one. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to try and make some uh, iron seeds. Let's see if we can get. Get, get it going. I don't even know if I've got enough to be honest. Um, so we need four of them. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So we're going to need sixteen. And the answer is no. We don't have enough. So, like I said, it's extremely hard to get like the seeds going. But once you do, um, it's pretty good because um, where is it? So we need eight. Yeah, eight gets. Yeah, so we need. Well, we need loads. We need loads more, and I mean loads more. We're we're nowhere near. So we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. Um, I don't know if you remember. If you watched Horizons, I had um, Ender Lilies where you could grow Ender Pearls after like it took ages and ages and ages. Well, Magic Crops allows you to do that, but once again, it's extremely expensive and very time-consuming. Um, so I'm, that's not going to be an issue right now. Um, what I could do this episode, I think what I might do is um, where the beach is, I might actually go and set a quarry up. I'm not 100% sure just yet on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and chop some more wood. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do next for you guys to see. And uh, yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm going to actually build a quarry and I'm going to go and put it in by the end of the episode. So I've literally got the ingredients. So we need to construct this. So I think it's something like this. Actually, there's something I'm missing. Redstone. Uh, I made some buttons by accident, so just ignore them. <laughs> I meant to make sticks. Um, so yeah, we're going to put that there. And then I think it's that. And then that makes the quarry. But that's not it. We're going to need things like um, 
think, how do you make a landmark? I think it's like this. Uh, use some lapis. Where are you? Yep, there we go. So I'm going to need two more of them. So I'm going to definitely need them. Okay, so that's that, that's that done. Awesome. I'm um, going to need, say, two levers. And now we got to make the engines. And we're also going to make some chests. I'm going to use jungle wood. So I'm going to use all the other wood that I don't really use. And what I'm probably going to do is go like so. Actually, yeah. And then I'm going to probably put that straight into um, an iron chest. Like so. Because we've got quite a bit of iron. So that's that sorted. So we've got building blocks and then we're going to need uh, let's say four engines we're going to go for steam engines normal build craft engines um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the ingredients and build them right now so where are they uh, be here sterling engine oh. so I'll, I'll show you the recipe for those that don't know so it's just stone gears pistons and just like cobblestone and glass so I'm going to craft that right now okay so I'm on the beach place now and um, I think I'm going to try and find a nice little spot to put this quarry um, I think here would do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out as far as I can and I was oh god it makes a noise uh, the quarry is that will keep two chunks loaded. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I was going to originally hook a ender chest up to it, but I need uh, blaze powder, and we haven't been to the uh, Nether yet. So yeah, I've tried seeing if I could transmute it, and as far as I know, I don't know how to do it uh, without a lot of problems. So I'm going to have to avoid that like the plague for now, and just kind of work with stuff. Actually, we need to get rid of that. And we need to put landmarks down. So, actually, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so this landmarks is, basically, this is going to, um, how do I do this? I, uh, I need a redstone signal next to it, right? There we go, redstone signal. So that's going to tell me where this is going to go. And hopefully it stops when it's when it's had enough. I'm not 100% sure. Is it still going? Oh wow, that's, that's, that's quite big. So we need to connect um, three in total. So one, th there's a corner. Oh god, there's a corner. Right, this corner has got a. This has got to touch two other corners. So we need to make sure that we are in good shape and line them up. Probably gonna go. Yeah, about there. I'll do. Okay. So we need to go back to this one again. Let's get rid of that waypoint. It's a bit annoying. I've done this like loads of times, and you've probably seen it a load of times. But there might be some of you that have never seen this before. So uh, I like every season. I know I talk like you've never seen it before, but some of you may not have. Okay, so let's get rid of that, and let's connect those dots. Let's just make sure that everything is happy. It looks as though it's happy and it wants to make the quarry. This is one big quarry and this is going to be very expensive to run. Um, but we'll get there when it comes to fuel. Um, what I want to try and make next is a, a coke oven. Um, I'm going to use the uh, minium stone to start transmuting some clay. Because uh, clay is quite, quite hard work to get hold of. And uh, yeah, but not when you've got equivalent exchange. There we go. 
is it? Where's the, uh... Oh god, what's going on? What's going on here? Maybe that's too big. Let's try, let's cut it down a little bit. Here. Slightly, slightly out here. Let's try again. I'm just going to save this one. I'll be right back. Okay, so not as big as I originally planned, but never mind. What have I only got two? Oh well, never mind. They're quite cheap to make anyway. So let's get these engines set up. And let's create some space here. Give ourselves room to breathe. Okay, so we want one underneath, one on the side, one on the other side, one on top. Okay, and uh, let's use a building block. I don't know, wood would be fine. What happened to my cobble? I must have put it back. So those two are done. And we're going to make it so those two get done as well. So let's put a lever there and there, and then I'm going to split these into 32s. Um, it's not going to last a drastic amount of time, but it will do for now. And let's get that iron chest sorted, and plunk it there. Um, let's grab some sand, let's try and make this place a little bit more friendly, because I feel a bit claustrophobic on this little bit here. So let's uh, make some more room. It looks like it's getting dark, so let's get this fired up. And we should be building. I think what it's going to do first is before it starts building, it's going to yeah, it's going to delete all all the things that are in the way, and then uh, yeah, happy days. So that's pretty much it. There's not really much to see at the moment because uh, it's starting to it's going to start clearing stuff. So as you can see, there's a bit of tree on there. Um, but apart from that, oh shit, <laughs> um, yeah, it's all good. So with this way, eventually we start getting some ores in, but um, this is going to be at a cost. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's going to be quite expensive to run, but uh, I might actually get rid of some of this wood. Okay. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, because what I'm probably going to do is all that wood from the valley, I might turn into charcoal, and uh, yeah, use that that way, and then and power it that way for now. But um, I think what we're going to do next episode is we're going to get the minion stone. We're going to get a minion stone sorted, get um, a little bit more uh, obsidian, and make a trip to the nether, because um, there's a few ingredients we desperately need from there uh, in order to... Uh, progress really so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it just a few bits here and there to do and uh, yeah I want rather than go mining all the time I want this to kind of you know automatically mine for me and uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff but we shall see I'll probably still do a bit of mining um, alongside the, the quarry but not literally alongside but like in my mine God. God, they're fast. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably still go in my in my grid and still mine that way, so just to get the extra income. But uh, yeah, apart from that, it's pretty cool. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll still see you in the next episode. Uh, world 10 shall be after World 10 has been recorded. Um, I shall leave the world a world download for you to get, should you want to play on it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So until next time, take it easy.